here and welcome to this month's episode of STEM Box. In this video, we're going to be exploring our hodgepodge holiday box, and specifically, we are making crystal snowflakes. If you want to learn more about this, stay tuned. I can't wait to show you how. To make crystal snowflakes, you're going to need the following items from your STEM box. Borax, string, filter paper, your STEM box pencil, and pipe cleaners. You're also going to need your safety gear. From home, you're going to want a parent to help you with this. You need a pot, a stove, spoons, a scissors, something like a jar, and water, and a shallow plate. Okay, let's make snowflakes. Step one, you need a parent for this part. We're gonna pour four cups of water into our pot, and this is our three ounce bag of borax. You can use the whole thing. If you use it up, you can find more borax at the store, or you can replicate this experiment with sugar or salt. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of food coloring. This is optional. We're gonna make ours blue to make it beautiful. And we're just gonna keep an eye on that. We're gonna wait for the water to boil a little bit. Um, you should boil their water first, but we're on a timeline here. So. Step one is done. Now we need to make our snowflakes. We're gonna make two snowflakes. We're gonna make pipe cleaner snowflakes and we're gonna make filter paper snowflakes. To make your pipe cleaner snowflake, cut your pipe cleaner into three parts. All right, so you're just gonna crisscross these and fold them over each other like so. And most snowflakes are six-sided, so we're just gonna do six-sided pipe cleaner snowflakes. And we'll even them out. There we go. And don't forget while you're making your snowflakes to stir your borax every now and then so that it's dissolving. Keep an eye on it, don't let it boil over. One snowflake down. We're also gonna make one little snowflake out of our filter paper. To do this, fold it in half one, two, three times, and try and make it as even as possible. And if you've never cut a snowflake before, all you have to do is make sure to cut out little pieces like this. And when you unfold it, you will have a snowflake masterpiece. Now we want our string. We're going to take a little bit and tie it to the longest end of our beautiful snowflake. You're gonna measure how much string you need to make it go into this jar. So I'm probably gonna take this much and I'm gonna tie it to my pencil. Awesome, okay, great. So now, what it'll look like is we have a beautiful snowflake hanging from a pencil in our jar. When your water is close to boiling, it's time to get our snowflakes ready for crystallization. I'm going to take my paper snowflake and put it flat in the bottom of a dish, and I'm going to take my pipe cleaner snowflake out to make room for the liquid. With a parent's help, this is very important because you could get very hurt if you don't help have a parent help you and you spill. We're going to pour some of this into this jar. All right, cool. And I'm also gonna pour some over my snowflake. And now I can add my pipe cleaner snowflake to this borax mixture. Boop, boop. Awesome. Now we just have to wait for five hours or overnight. <laughs> So it's finally been a full 24 hours. Just kidding, we did this ahead of time. So when you're finished with your pipe cleaner snowflake, you end up with this beautiful borax snowflake that you can hang somewhere in your house, or this delicate, beautiful crystal paper snowflake. Are you wondering how this works? Great, let's talk about it. So this is a process called crystallization. The way this works is when you pour the borax in the water, you'll notice that it immediately falls to the bottom of the pot. When the water is cold, nothing really happens. There's a ton of leftover salt. But when it starts to heat up, the water molecules move farther apart, creating more space between them for the borax molecules to fit in. So then, the powder you see on the bottom of the pot starts to go away, which is good. While the water is still hot and you pour it into your containers, they will start to slowly, slowly cool down. And when the water cools down, the space between them decreases. And when the space between the water decreases, there's less room for borax molecules to hang out, so they get pushed out of solution. So what they have to do is find a place to land. 
and they like to land in uniform structures. This is why when the water cools, they'll pick a spot to land, like your pipe cleaner or your paper snowflake, to make their home and create a crystal structure. And this is how crystals are made, when things are pushed out of solution and they have to come back into a solid form from a liquid. I can't wait to see what you come up with at home, so be sure to send us your photos, because remember, no two snowflakes are alike. Be sure to watch our next video where we make poinsettia pH paper. Can't wait to see you there! Bye! This has been Keena with Stembot.